It's the Ruby Weapon Hour with our very special guest, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> It's time to play the intro, it's time to chug mustard, it's time to meet the gingers on Peach's stream tonight. It's time to pet the baby, it's time to shake the bag, it's time to order McDonald's on Peach's stream tonight. Why do you guys come here? I guess I'll never know. It's like a kind of torture to manage this shit show. And now let's get things started. Why don't you get it started? It's time to read donations on the most sensational, incompetable, unbeatable, blind, debatable. This is what we call the Ruby Weapon Stream. Bonk! Why would you do that? Hello today. Hello to you. Hello today. Hello to you on this day. Oh, excuse me. Hello today, and welcome to the Ruby Weapon Hour. I am Peach Saliva. Some may call me Paige. Some have other names for me. You may use any of them if you so choose. Hello. Except for that one. None of that. <laughs> With me is Elmo PP. Yes, hi. Hi, Toot. Elmo's butt has joined us. We have Skelmo, my emotional support skeleton, and Steve Buscelmo. What do you mean, glasses? I always wear these glasses. Hello, Susan. Phoenix wrong? No. Phoenix correct. Welcome. Well, oh, Jesus. What's happening? Oh. Excuse me. All right. Hello. How is it going today? No, no one gets any passes here. Get it? None of that. No, this is the today is about justice. I don't know if you know this. It's about justice. Hello, Karen. Only Karen Walker. The only Karens around here, Karen Walker. Justice is blind, and that's why I'm playing Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Is Pat dead? No. He um, has ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. So, um, ripping pepperoni. Um... <laughs> No, uh, he's he's just he's he's taking a nap, which is weird because it's like ten fifteen at night. But, you know, listen, I'm may I have an F in the chat for my boyfriend? Thank you. No, he's fine. Um, he'll probably I know how Pat is. So it's ten fifteen. However, however, ten fifteen at night, I always say to him, I'm like, you have to stay up till at least like eleven midnight, because if he doesn't. He will wake up at 3 a.m. and be like, oh, I'm wide awake. I'm so confused. And it's because you went to bed before the magic hour. And the magic hour for him is like 11 midnight. You, you guys know you guys have a magic hour, don't, do you not? I have a magic hour. And it's called the Ruby Weapon Hour. <laughs> I led you there. I hmm. uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm a little distracted right now. My top despite um, having been washed many times. It smells like sunscreen. And I keep thinking I'm like at the beach. And it's like very distracting. And I haven't been outside in almost 70 days, for those of you who don't know. Like not even outside of this, my stone bunker. So uh, Eli, get out of here. Get out of here. I am not taking, no, I will not take my top off. How dare you? How dare you? How could you? How could you say this to me? Am I just dying? Is that the sign of a stroke? Just kidding. I know what the signs are because I've had one. That's a riot. Anyway. Oh, my God. You guys. You guys, how am I supposed to get started? <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so kindly. Oh, do you like my pearls? Thank you. I never take them off. It did get dark, didn't it, DK? Well, we're all about roller coasters here on... The Ruby Weapon Hour. <laughs> what do you mean rephrase that? What do I need to rephrase? This is about the law, 
Eli, this is about the Lord and the law. And I am the Lord of the law. <laughs> so without Pat here, I feel kind of like, I don't know, I feel, I feel very strange. I feel, I feel a little, uh, I don't know, it's unnerving how quiet this house gets when he isn't awake without hearing him talk or breathe or exist. It's like, and it's silent. It's beautiful. Can you hear that? It's the sound of silence. And it's beautiful. Sobering even. It's beautiful. No coffee machine go burr. No sound of him breathing and farting. Do you, okay, I'm just gonna blow his asshole out. You would not, he was sitting here, right? And I was sitting there in my robe and I'm like all covered in like old makeup and I'm like, ugh. And he, he's like, okay, goodbye on the podcast. And he clicked the button and he turned to me really fast and he goes, Paige, I don't know if I am sitting on a bowl, a ball of poop or farts, but I have to go. And I was like, what, what, wait, good, good morning. And, and then he just like ran and I was like, all right. I know, I miss him. R.I.P. R.I.P. And I was so disgusted because I'm just like, good morning, darling. No, no, no good morning kisses for me. It's easy to play dignity chicken when there's only me. Mmm, me. Only me. I know, he's so romantic. He's so romantic. I'm so lucky to be with him. In general and also here, he's great. Other than like the smells and the noises, but I'll let it pass. Anyway, only you and them. The them that live in the woods, Eli. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's just me all alone. And them. That's so funny. You're such a dick. Anyway. Anyway, I know Pat is adorable. Loud, but adorable. Like Elmo. Like Elmo. Is it going to be a good night? I don't know. Who knows? Find out. But first, we should pet Elmo and his butt. And you spank his bottom. Yeah, I spank his bottom. And give thanks. <laughs> Every time I say give thanks, I always think of... Um, I went to Catholic school a billion years ago, and I always think, we give thanks to the Lord our God. Thanks. Oh, wait, was it? Thanks be to the... Oh, shit. God, can you... Does it... Thanks be to the Lord our God. And then I think you get on your knees and. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Who knows? I don't even know. That's fine. Listen, for those of you who don't know, there's no Adderall here. I have no. I... Sorry, that sounded like I took Adderall and I secretly don't want you to know. I don't have any on me. So I'm a mess now. I, I can't. I, I have no access to my brain. So it's up to you chat it is up to you to direct me and if I fail it's your fault so I I am I am but a puppet I am but a puppet <laughs> I am but a puppet is there no pharmacy delivery in Canada um the problem is I'm American uh my doctor is in the states I can't leave uh, because the border is closed, I cannot. So, alas, and alack the day. And I, I do have some, a very, very small amount. Uh, but I am saving it um, and hoarding it like a greedy little dragon. Uh, I'm a butter puppet. Oh, thank you? I don't know what a butter puppet is. Will you catapult your, catapult your Adderall over the border? That's very kind. That's very kind. Can you get Canadian citizenship? I I, I could, uh, but it is quite a process. Um, if I were to do something like that, I would cons show show my lawyer badge. Alas, I do not have one. Um, I could in the future become a permanent resident. I don't know if I would become a citizen. I don't know. I don't know. We'll 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 think about it. Who knows? Mary Pat for the Adderall. Oh Lord. So many people think we're, we've, we're married or already married and maybe we are. Who knows? Big secret. Who knows? Um, am I going to play the first game? That is indeed what I'm playing. I'm actually, um, for those of you 
um, who, who weren't able to catch last time. This is actually episode two. I'm on um, the second case, but I'm like, what, three fourths, half through something like that. Um, but let us give thanks briefly. Uh, I am going because you guys have been so kind and generous. Um, uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, I'm going to read up to a point because I've already, excuse me, stalled for so much time. I didn't realize. Um, I'm going to read as many as I can. And then I'm gonna be like, I should probably play a game. And then, uh, when there's a, um, a pause or a change in the chapter, and then I will read more. So I just want to let you know, I'm not, not reading your, um, your donation, you, I explained it. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, it's difficult because I don't have Adderall and I don't have Pat, who's like a living embodiment of Adderall for me. W- what, what can I do? I only have this cat's ass and my hopes and dreams. That's it. What kind of ring would Pat buy? Um, we've joked around it before. Like, he knows I love ring pops. <laughs> like, He's not going to do something super incredible and romantic and beautiful like um, like um, what Wooly did. Wool- what Wooly did is just like, that's storybook beautiful. Just mwah, beautiful. So romantic. Pat's going to be like, he'll give an onion ring and he'll be like, hey, so do you wanna? And then it'll be, yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you think? Eh? And I'll be like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> Mm. Uh. Right, DK? Ahem. Let us give thanks. Uh, Kira Neckbeard donated two doll hairs, two doll hairs and said, what idiot called it Pat and Paige sexy times and not the rub your weapon hour? I may or may not steal that in the future. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Now Dial X10. Hello, my dear. Donated two dollars. Said, I hate uh, that I can't watch any live streams. For the past two months because of work. I miss watching the train wrecks. That is my two fave gingers. Well, thank you. Well, not to worry because we have a... Did Pat Did Pat say something? Is he watching? I swear to God. Because if he's not asleep, I'm going to drag his ass back here. Um, <laughs> uh, we have, you know, our YouTube videos. We have our VODs. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stream a little bit more, as you can see. Look at me. Here I am. Um, I was going to say, gracing you with my presence, but let's face it. Uh, <laughs> me. Mm. Oh, what a nightmare. Is he, in the, is he in the candy closet? Probably. Would not shock me. I tried to hide the chocolates. He found them. There's no hope in this house. He licks the walls. He like goes like this, and then he knows where they are. You only tune in for Elmo's glorious presence. I mean, that's why I wake up in the morning. To pet this cat's ass. Ooh, pet this cat's ass. Yeah, he's a good boy. Excuse me. Uh, Shogun Noanto. I, I'm, I'm just going to butcher everybody's name. I'm sorry. Resub for five months now and said, hello today, Mustard Queen. Hello. Behold. Ozzy Mendias, five five five, subscribed. Thank you kindly. Tiz eighty six resubbed at tier two for thirty nine months. Thank you, Tiz. That's very kind. Much, much, much obliged. Uh, Aruara Wo resubbed for two months and said, "Love this channel and love Elmo. Here's to many more months and may more laughs. Indeed, I hope we'll see. I'm sure. Well, hopefully, we'll see. We'll see what happens." Tiz gifted many sub. Tiv gifted so many subs that it didn't tell me how many there were. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Hold on. One, two, three. I can't. Oh, my God. Hold. Fucking. I'm sorry. This did not. 25? God damn, Tiz. Tiz, you're crazy. Thank you. That's very kind. That's very kind. Hold now, See, now you're making me click doing all this work. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hold on. My goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Enjoy, everybody. Thank you, Tiz. Very kind. Hold on. There we go. Aha, there we are. And Strident Song resubbed at tier two for 42 months and said, objection. Thank you. Oh my gosh. 42 months. 42 months I've been doing this shit. Can you believe that? Can you believe I've been petting this cat's bag and bitching at my boyfriend and humiliating myself? For three, three and a half years, three and a half 
Yes, it's like four whole streams, Townspoon. Can you believe I've lived this long? It's insane. Losing my mind. It's crazy. What are you flicking your tail around? What are you doing? The official means subscribed. Thank you. Lyman Owl. Lyman AI? I'm not entirely sure because I'm stupid. You've resubbed for 26 months. And I'm fucking up your name. That's the kind of quality you can expect here at the Ruby Weapon Hour. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Said 26 month big number. Thank you for number. <laughs> That's, thank you for number. Ah. Dude, so far-fetched, says that's true friendship when you fuck up names. See, you say that. So I had known, I had known uh, Plague of Gripes for like a billion years. And then we hung out in real life. And I introduced him to a, a friend I ran into. And I, get, I, like, I looked at him and I was like, my brain was like, uh, and I wanted to call him Plague. And so I think... Can you correct me? Did I introduce you as Plague or did I like, what did I call you? Because I don't think I called you Eli. Ah, yeah. Mi mi one Mr. Gripes. Oh, it was so embarrassing. <clears throat> Art slave. The plaque of complaints. Indeed. Indeed. Yes, because I'm stupid. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Plague. Commander Cl <laughs> So even my real friend, like one of my best friends I've known for, uh, we just had our, so lame. One of my very, very, very close friends who I've actually never mentioned um, on stream, uh, kind of out of respect, uh, just because she's not, she doesn't like, you know, um, you know, uh, we celebrated like uh, our like 13 year friend anniversary, friend anniversary, and we like, we both got a little inebriated and we um, we read over like some scripts that we wrote back in like 2000, God, 11. Oh, so fun. I had the best time. Uh, Commander Claw resubbed for 10 months and said, so I sat down to watch the stream and a wasp that was on my chair stung me twice on my back. Fuck wasps. Why do they have zero chill? Uh, first of all, double check and make sure that is not one of those spooky, scary buzz buzz that are happening apparently um japanese hornets or something i'm sure it's fine oh normal size that's good that's good dude wasps are fucking scary i do i do not appreciate the wasps <laughs> they 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 give me they make me very anxious i don't like anything that flies around and has any capacity to injure me in any way I do not like, I respect the bees. I respect them, what they do to, for the planet, but I want them away from me and I will run and flail. I do not appreciate the bees this close to me. Any closer than this, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Let's face it. Even if I see them from far, I run. Didn't I run from one with you, Plague? It's pathetic. One time, I almost ran out into the street with Pat. God, we were on like, what, our like third date. And I like ran and I, I closed my eyes and went like this and just like ran like this. And it wasn't even that close to me. I just got really nervous and was like, no, I don't know. Almost ran into the street. But that's fine. I run from a lot of things. That's true. I did. <laughs> um, Thomas of Troy resubbed for 14 months and said, insert sub message here. Thank you. Very kindly. <laughs> uh, it sounds very page, doesn't it? What can I say? Uh, Pinky the Eerie. Hey, Pink. Donated 250 and said, Queen of Mustard, I, Pinky, challenge you to a vinegar drinking contest. I will win. I, I fear you not, Pinky. When it comes to chugging sour condiments, I will win. Mustard, vinegar, pickle juice. I don't care. I saw that video, yeah, and you, you, you flinched. You flinched. He, he drank, what was it, a cup of vinegar? I was impressed, but you flinched. Uh-huh, yeah, because of mouth cuts. Sure, sure, yeah, that's right, a sign of weakness. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Um, isn't pickle juice just cucumber vinegar? I suppose so. Hmm. I suppose so. Um, Catalyst Rhyrus 
resubbed for six months. Thank you kindly. RNG Bub resubbed for 19 months and said, cut the last VOD, and man, I missed missed the y'all. Oh. I've been dodging Pat's streams for spoiler reasons. BTW, my hand-washing song is the Miser song. So thank you both for that. That's awesome. Uh, I don't blame you. I completely understand. It sucks when you have to, like, dodge spoilers, but you want to watch something. I, I go through that. Um, but, yeah, dude, the Miser song is in my head most of the time. Like, it's fantastic. And I don't know whose I like better, the Heat Miser or Snow Miser. All I'm saying, I love both of them deep in my, deep in my soul. And I'm okay with, with the, um, there was a, I think there was a revival version. That one is also okay. Kind of mix them together. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Mornaka resubbed for five months. Thank you. Gas Grave gifted a sub to... One, two, three, oh my god, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. Thank you so much and enjoy. Uh, the Sound Defense subscribed. Gasgrave gifted a sub to more people. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, goodness, six, seven, eight, nine more people. Thank you. That is very kind. Thank you and enjoy. Enjoy whatever is occurring here. Uh, Ked Bot resubbed for 31 months and said, yay, subversary. I'd like to take this opportunity to say that I also don't think drinking room temperature soda is weird. Thank you. It's delicious. The way the Lord intended for us to drink diet soda. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> what am I, European? No, I don't. <laughs> someone just told me to leave no I, I don't know I don't know I don't get me wrong right nice ice cold coca-cola is chef chef's kiss however most of the time I I see the cold coca-cola as a treat this is a staple not not really but I drink maybe like three four of these a week tops although we didn't get any for almost two months <clears throat> and I really really missed it and that's why I was like over there eating sugar <laughs> do you remember that from a couple of streams ago what was it was that last pat stream I don't know but I will eat a spoonful of sugar I will as a treat <clears throat> am I a cryptid probably Rudels McGriff subscribed thank you so far, Fetch donated 820. Thank you. And said, all right, Paige, here's a bucket of just ice for you. Wait, you didn't want just ice. You wanted justice. Well, this is a really bad icebreaker. Nice. I wish I could dance. Like Vogue. Just like Vogue it out. But alas, I can't. I was... <laughs> uh, one of these days, I might have... Uh, my friend and I come on here and read a script we once wrote. It's a long story. Um, long story. Uh, we wrote it for a children's um, project thing for children uh, to perform. And one of them was like, I want to be Cruella de Vil. And it was like, all right. So we're writing this thing with a song. This is very complicated. Just, just hear me out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there was one part where I guess one, a girl wanted to be Cruella de Vil. And we we're like, all right. And so we wrote like a tiny rap section for her where she comes forward and she's like, I steal puppies and I'm rich. And she does like, and it was the way. she didn't, she didn't do like a dab or anything, but my friend added that when she was reading it out loud to me, um, two nights ago. And I started screaming and crying and laughing because the idea that she's like, I steal puppies and I'm rich. And, and then we realized, and then we realized that dabbing has evolved into something quick because it used to be like <coughs> whatever right right where, where where you just like you just like i'm literally shaking and crying right now uh i love that no um but now it's like 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 the way she did it i can't uh it was like and then she just hit herself as hard as she could in the head with her wrist and i was like she's like yeah no that's how the kids dab now and i'm like what how how do, why do the children dab so fast? I can't handle it. I'm too old. I'm too old and I have to use the soft part of my arm. What if I hit myself? Think about it. 
<laughs> 100 dabbing Dalmatians. Oh, man. Jakado gifted subs, too. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. I can't count. Five people. Thank you so much. That's so kind. And enjoy all of all of the recipients. Uh, Hexagon resubbed for 11 months in a row. Thank you. Meowed916 subscribed. And Kirby Sauce used 500 bits and said, I'm, uh, hold on. Uh, you want me to speak to Alexa, but I shan't because I don't want to freak out anybody's Alexa. I'll rise for the presiding judge, Elmo. Thank you. He is a baby. Oh, you have your hat on the keyboard. You're so cute. Uh, Snowbush resubbed for 17 months and said, 17 months, what a ride. Almost makes me want to let everyone know to play Sh Raid Shadow Legends, a game whose company is not holding me hostage or threatening to send Pop Pop for a cement shoe swim. What? What's happening? What does that mean? Oh, did I activate yours? I'm sorry, Misty. That's weird. What? I, I demand explanations. Uh, Misty Mountains resubbed for 20 months in a row and said, Hi there, Peach and Pat. Long time no see. Hope you're having fun and keeping safe. A shout out to all of our essential employees, as I'm one of them. Also, may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you also. Wait, no. No, it's and also with you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. A bit, oh, hi. Hi. Do you want to come over here? Oh, what a cutie. Oh, is my baby boy. He's so handsome and good. Sorry, I got distracted because Elmo is here. I'm going to pet him for you. No, stop. Oh, God, no. He's eating his hair off the couch. Don't do that. I think, I don't think he knows that the hair grows from him. No, don't, no. There's too much on this couch. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Misty. And Misty gifted five subs. Thank you so much and enjoy, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Lime and I'll gifted 10 subs. Thank you and enjoy. Enjoy. This stream should be called Sorry, I Got Distracted. I mean, that's the subtitle. Under, like, the Ruby Weapon Hour, that's, like, boop, that's underneath. Um, Raffles -A, a Wait, hold on. Raffles C A. a There we are. We subbed for 18 months in a row and said, Oh, boy, time to watch Peach totally catch all the fine details and solve all the highly specific adventure game puzzles on her first try. Not for real, though. Love you. Keep doing such a good job. I can do it. I believe in me. I'm an adult. I have dignity and respect for me. I'm cool. And I get, stop eating your own hair. Please. It's weird. Hey, I will clean up the couch later from your own floof. You have so much floof. No, stop. It's the only, it's the only treat he likes is his own hair. And we can't give it to him. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Ah. Uh. The Matman 1313 resubbed for 17 months and said, Chat, it is out of the Witness character to stream more than once a month. There is no way the Witness page. Objection. That's right. It's me. It is I. I'm not going to pull off a mask. It is indeed me. Surprise. Surprise. I will not feed him hair. Umbi Pogachan resubbed for 26 months and said, I only sub to streams with unlimited hams. Get your hams right here. Welcome. Ruby Weapon Hour, where you can find your hams. Does Streamlabs not record messages from before you officially start the stream? Because that's when I sent mine. Oh. Hold on. I don't see it. Did it go? Will, will, will you check and see? Oh, there it is. Oh, you were right. Wait. No. Wait, hold on. One second. No, that's not you. Wait. Oh, I didn't click on that one. That was from like eight days ago. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Hold on. Let me keep looking real quick for you. It does record them, but I don't see one from you, my dear. Can you check and see if it went through? Because sometimes it gets eaten. But um, if it if it did go through and it's not here, let me know and I will uh, I'll refund you. Um, Hold on. I can't see. There we are. There we are. Okay. Copper Tucker resubbed for four months and said, Hi, Paige. That's a long month of moving ahead of me, and I wanted to say, say stay big and strong. Also, hi, Patton and Elmo. Hope you are all well. We are all right. We are all right. Um, Elmo is a big, fat baby. Actually, no, we're not just all right. We're doing really well. 
I'm surprised uh, that we're doing so well. Like, I, I was like, oh, no, we're going to be trapped together in this house together. It's going to be crazy. No, have, having the best time. Easy. Having a really good time, like, together. I mean, we're still, like, freaking out because it's like, what the fuck's happening? But as far as, like, being around each other all- so much, surprisingly going really well. Don't know how that's working. So it's you too, so it works. We're all surprised. <laughs> Tonight we fuck. That's right. Lots of hate sex. Eh, we'll call May. We'll call B. Conist, resub for five months. Thank you. Spider-Man donated five doll hairs and said, EDF, EDF. Hope you're doing both doing great. As someone avoiding P5 and 7R spoilers, I've missed some streams lately. Now solve that case. I shall. I don't blame you, but I, I shall. I shall solve some cases. Killdozer donated $5 and said, just bought OG Final Fantasy VII. Never played it and JRPG, JRPGs aren't my thing, but I'm excited to give it the old college try. I very, very, very much encourage you. I very much encourage you if... Please consider playing uh, the older Final Fantasies. Please, 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 please consider playing uh, Final Fantasy 4. That's my favorite. But most especially uh, Final Fantasy 6 and 7. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely 6 and 7. At least. Please. Um, 4, if you're feeling like brave. Because I, I know that one. that one ages a lot less beautifully but six is just oh incredible incredible it's especially like the original like the the one oh god what was it where you can play it on your ipad and shit it's just not as attractive i i personally don't think but i think six is just it holds up beautifully it's great um so many so many people i know are like yeah i've never played six or seven and i'm like oh please god you'll understand me so much more um Black Harlequin 13 resubbed for seven months. Thank you kindly. And, and oh, I can't read. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I can't read. I can't see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Just finished watching the YouTube leftovers of the last stream. I'm enjoying y'all's voice acting. Can't wait to see what comes in this next stream. Well, seeing how I can't read, um, I will do my darndest, but we'll see. Thank you very kindly. Ozymandia555 donated $2 and said, want to say thanks to people like you and Pat. You've helped redefine what love means to me. I think I'm finally free from my parents' mistakes. Oh, honey. Oh, that, that's very bittersweet. I'm so glad I can be a model of of love for you. Um, it, In fact, I was just saying this to Pat earlier today, how like the way he our dynamic works may not work for everyone. Um, but sometimes it does and that's, and that's wonderful. And I'm, I'm, I'm so honored that you see me as, as a, as a, as a model, uh, individual. Well, model duo, I suppose. Right. Thank you. That, that really means a lot. Thank you. Uh, well, I can't see. KYH9 donated $5 and said, here's to a big fun stream playing through Final Fantasy four for the first time. Why is Kane so <laughs> excited to see you earn your law degree live? That's right. I'm a lawyer. Also, Kane is great. It's Kane's great. You know, I'm not going to say the whole thing. Not no, but I I, I appreciate that nonetheless. Um <laughs> shut up. I like Kane a lot, but I I'm a sucker for dragoons. That's why I super 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 love Sid from 7. Mwah, I cannot wait until he arrives because he's wonderful and he I think Sid has the the best theme from Final Fantasy 7 and that's saying a lot because all of the music is gorgeous um but I have a thing for um that military kind of like and that those drums and it's just like oh it's the best uh Elopkiss resubbed for six months and said, I guess it's my six month anniversary, but I don't know how Twitch works anymore. So whatever. Hi, Paige. Hello. That's OK. Sometimes I forget how it works. Who knows what bits are? Not me. <laughs> yeah, Sid, the old 32 year old man. Uh, no, they won't fuck up, Sid. I, th- I think. I think he will be improved upon. I think he will be improved upon, but we, we shall see. Uh, Big Natural Man 59 resubbed for 11 months. Thank you. General S.C. Patton donated $100. Wow, thank you. 
oh my God, a down, General SC Patton, a down payment for your in-pass premium with all the other passes in the alphabet. There's even a Q pass for telling off John Delancey. All right. No, no, none of that. No, 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 not a limited time offer. No offer. No, no, Mr. But, God damn, Mr. But. Jesus, Mr. Boris Makarov resubbed for 37 months and said, hello today, hello today. Clendy resubbed for four months and said, last stream three this stream, wait, last stream three this stream four. I'm, there we go. I'm very glad to see you're streaming again. Your streams do wonders for my terrible mental health because I too have no meds. Oh, for your, uh, yeah, uh, boop to baby for me. Hope it's a great lawyerin stream. I shall m try to make it my best. <clears throat> In fact, I should probably... Stop here so I can save my voice. Um, I know Elmo is waiting so politely. Is Paige solo? Is she going to be okay? Who knows? Pat might wake up. We'll see. You Do you like my Steve Buscemi shrine? We love him. We love him in this house. That's my man. We love him. We love him. Uh, Kirby Sauce used 500 bits and said, Uh-oh, Pat's not here. Paige isn't having an affair with Chad, is she? Honestly, can't wait to see how this goes. Because the last time I saw a Paige-only stream, it crashed. What? I have done streams alone. That do very well. Thank you. Are you are you cleaning me? Yeah? Oh, much obliged, my son. Much obliged unto you, my son. Thank you. What a good boy. General S.E. Patton used $5 and said, Do not give one cent to the diamond cartels. Get moissanite. It's cheaper. Made in a lab, so no slavery involved. And optically superior. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'll get, like, a, a real diamond. If, if, you know, all that. It'll be, like... Um, a giant onion ring that I will wear here until it falls off of my wrist. Um, no, honestly, I've, oh, this is so lame. I remember a few years ago, a friend of mine uh, was getting married and we were like, oh, let's look at, let's look at rings. And I was like, yeah. So I was helping her look at rings and I was like, yeah, what would I like? And you know, there was like some pearl rings, but she was, she was like, oh, don't get those because they chip easy or whatever. And I was like, oh, pearls, a ruby would be sick though. A ruby would be pretty sick. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Quack of Dawn resubbed for six months and said, get that out of the way. Get what out of the way? Oh, no. That's 20 minutes old. I don't know. Hold on. Super, Super Segoy Senpai 1 resubbed for 23 months and said, hold it. Hold it. My house hunt continues. Two more months till my lease expires. I have seen some great places, but they go fast. They go so fast. But also... The person trying to sell you the place is going to tell you like, oh, other people are looking, woo, even when they aren't. So watch out. Watch out for them. Are we engaged? No, no. Uh, Farple's resubbed. Thank you kindly. Although, and I've told the story before, but I'm going to tell it again because that's how I work. Uh, Pat asked me to marry him on like our first date. So, <laughs> 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 okay, technically it was our second date, but still. Oh, wait, which date was it? We were both pretty drunk. <laughs> One of those. It was like the first or the second. He'll remember. Cafe Spider subbed for three months and said, I continue to be, as do I. Let us both continue on. Furious Furioso resubbed for 40 months and said, sip, sip, dab. Hold on, I'm going to dab like the children. Is that... They, oh, they, she did it so fast and she hit herself in the head. And I was like, that's how the children do it. Alex Id resubbed for three months. Thank you. And Tall Yoda donated $5 and said, sorry, Queen's alive, but I will have to catch the VOD because I haven't played much of this game yet. P.S. Your outfit is dope. Thank you. I threw it together last minute. And I was like, whatever. Hope, hope this works. I don't know. It's soft, you know. So um, I've mentioned this before. I normally wear like soft, fluffy dresses. I like really flowy dresses. I'm really into uh, the empire waist lately. Um, is Elmo sleeping standing? Sometimes. But no, I think he's just looking down. Um, what is Elmo looking at? The future. He's uh, communing with the spirits, as you know. Oh, no. Oh, Kier Neckbeard says, I know a guy who proposed to his girlfriend over breakfast as a joke. But by the time he had, he told her it was a joke, she had already called her parents, so he had to go through with it, but they have two kids now. Well, 
Well, that's good. You can't believe your waist supports imperialism. No. It just means that the bust is like right under the boobs and then it kind of goes. Whoa. But I like flowy dresses, but I don't feel comfortable wearing them on stream. Um, just because like I like to sit like this and then I don't know. I don't know. But I, I like wearing like ankle length dresses because I'm lame. <laughs> I fathered two children as a joke. Uh, the Sniper Joe used a thousand bits. Thank you. And said drinking room temp soda is the same as drinking scotch or whiskey neat. Hell yeah. If you're drinking it with the ice, then you just don't like the taste and want to dull it by chilling it. Eh, I don't know. I mean, you know, if you're sitting out by a campfire, you know, or a bonfire, or whatever, and, and someone pops a nice like little cube in your scotch glass, it's all right. It's nice and refreshing. But I, yeah, I like my whiskey neat. I, I'm not allowed to have it though, because if I have a whiskey neat, I'm probably going to cry. Who knows? Who knows why? I have a friend who, if she's watching this, she's going to be like, mm-hmm. I'm like, sorry. Every time I'm like, can I have a whiskey neat? She's like, she doesn't want that. Don't get, don't, don't do it. I'm like, sorry. Um, Etchler gifted five subs. Thank you kindly and enjoy. Star Otter 70 donated $5 and said, turns out having teachers who are not trained properly start cheat. Hold on. I can't read. Excuse me. Turns out having teachers who are not trained properly start teaching online classes makes classes way harder. Got any dumb teacher stories? Oh, I have so many. I have so many. Uh, I think that it's hard to... Teachers are never just like mediocre. Have you noticed that? It's either like this teacher that changed my life or this teacher that changed my life. And it's like, do you know what I mean? They're either like fantastic or they hated my guts, right? And that's, at least that's how, oh really, that's not true? See, I've, I've always had it where I'm like, wow, this teacher's incredible or this teacher has dreams where they murder me in their sleep, you know? Oh man. So I've, I've got, I've got a lot of stories, but eh. I'm trying to think, is it my stand? I think you guys are right. Maybe the mediocre ones I just forget about. Hmm. I think, hmm. I will ponder this. Betty Sharkface donated $5 and said, oh no. Oh yes. Uh, Amish Incognito subscribed. Thank you. I'm so, I keep eating the mic. Pat tells me not to, but. Oh, there we go. I'm trying not to eat the mic. Uh, so please forgive me if I'm just like, bleh. Uh, Amish Incognito subscribed. Ryom used 300 bits and said, as a wee weeb, I would make sugar sandwiches. Really? White sugar in between two slices of white bread because my parents said I couldn't eat sugar, but I could eat sandwiches. Sugar sandwiches. See, now you're thinking with portals. Godspeed. Kirby Saucy used 500 bits and said, this stream was brought to you by Paige Shadow Puzzles. Man, sugar sandwiches. Woo. Woo. Ooh. Le Master of Le Swords subscribed. Merci beaucoup. A very odd Jew resubbed for nine months and said, oh no, stream baby. Congratulations. And Bang Kaiko used 501 bits and said, had an existential future dilemma that I'll only encounter in the future of a successful timeline. Please lend me counsel. In the event that I publish my book, do I use my real name or my internet name as a pseudonym? If I use my real name, trying to promote it as my own may confuse people on the internet. But if I use my internet name, then people will definitely find my Twitter and see all the weird pornography in my likes. Plus, normies might think pseudonyms are pretentious. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, use both. Use both. Why not? Oh, pen name. Make a third one. Ooh. Embrace your stage name. Call yourself Mr. Internet Name. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I can't counsel you on that. I don't know. Reveal your Twitter porn like a hero. That would be pretty ballsy. Pretty nutsy. Uh, Zero Sigma Prime resubbed for five months and said, I usually wear my hair in a high ponytail, but decided to let it flow free when cooking today. Burnt two inches off when it fell on the stove top. Oh... At least I didn't cut my tongue licking a knife again. Don't do that. Don't do either of those things. That's why whenever I cook, I braid my hair so it doesn't like fall in. Don't. Oh, that's my nightmare. That is my nightmare. Nightmare. 
that that is something I would do. Please don't. Please no, don't do that. No, no, don't let it flow free when you cook, baby. No. That that hurts. That hurts my soul. I'm so sorry. Uh, comrade dog subscribed. Thank you. Artemis M822 resubbed for 21 months in a row and said, sorry, I'm late. No, no, you're fine. I've, it's 11 o'clock. I haven't even started yet. You're fine. Thank you for the quarantine entertainment. You are the best. I might fall asleep since I have work, but have fun. Get your rest. This will be up in two days. Don't worry. Hot Doe donated $10 and said, have you or Pat played World of Final Fantasy? It's pretty fun and great for fans of the series. I haven't. Uh, I probably should. Oh, hi. I probably should. Uh, but I that I haven't. Uh, Amish Incognito donated $10 and said, got my stimulus check today and decided to blow a portion of it subbing and tipping my weird internet dad mom. Hello. Let's be friends. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure. Oh, honey. Make sure you take care of yourself first. Always. Hey. No. No. No scratchings. No scratch. No. Kisses only. Thank you. Thank you for kisses. No. No biting. Only kisses. Thank you. Jenna Ralph donated $2. And said, man, no matter how many times I listen to it, the corn theme still hypes me the fuck up and pushing the lying ass bitch witness shit in. The music in this game is outrageous. I really like, what, is it, is it uh, cornered? Yeah, oh, that's what you said. I read corned. I, I said corned. What corned? Cornered. I'm stupid, excuse me. <laughs> Do you like my, the theme of corn? I don't know. If you guys have heard this theme before, it's it's pretty uh, under the radar, but it's called Corned. Just saying. Just so you know. God, how do... Elmo, how do I live? Can you explain to the people? My son. My stupid son. My beautiful, stupid son. Goopy Euclid resubbed for two months and said, Hi, Peach. As someone who's neuroatypical, very probably at least, your and Pat's dreams are extremely validating. Good luck on the stream. Why, thank you. My thing is, it's like, look, I I can't hide this shit. I can't, I can't hide how fucking weird I am. I spent too long doing that. Who cares, you know? Like, it's like, if I don't, like, embrace it, you know, I'm just going to have, like, a... It's just not, it's just not fun. Embrace how weird you are. Who cares, right? Sorry, that's my, that's my inspirational speech is like, just who, who fucking cares? Just be weird. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's what I say. You were hiding it? Oh, this is like in my very early 20s when I was like 21 and I was like, no one can know. No one can know how weird I am. No one, shh, ha ha. And then by the time I was like 22, 23, I was like, fuck it. And I was just like, Ugh. so don't, don't waste your time hiding how weird you are. Oh my God. Ross is raiding me. Hello. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you, Ross. What a, what a kind person. Ross is the best. Hi. Hello. Hello today, everyone. I am so sorry. <laughs> when people raid me, I always want to be like, hello, I'm sorry. Welcome. Mm. Oh, Ross, you are a sweetie pie. Mwah, mwah. Ross, amazing, amazing. Hello and welcome to the Ruby Weapon Hour. Shall we start a video game? What do you think? Shall we start? And then I will uh, continue reading La Donation. Donation. No? Yes? Now is a good time. All right. Let us begin. Let us begin. Let's see if I can do this by myself without just completely breaking everything around me. And of course, Pat has completely cleaned the desktop. I have no idea where anything is. All right. <clears throat> Let's figure this out together, shall we? Let's find out. Uh, there it is. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can play a video game. Oh, that's, nope, that's, that's okay. That is unhelpful. Pat! <laughs> Shit, this sucks. Uh, where, I can't, his computer is so fucked. Yeah, I know, this, we're off to a really good start. Please excuse me. No, that's not at all what I want. None of this, oh my god. He, he only does this 
to confuse me, I swear. What the fuck? Oh, I'm stupid. He had it open, didn't he? Please excuse me. Hold on. I can't see. <clears throat> Riveting gameplay. Riveting. Hold on to your, hold on to your fucking hats, y'all. I can't see anything. Oh, there, oh, oh, aha. Ha ha. Huh, huh. I did it. I did it with my brain, my smarts, if you will. Go wake him up. It will not be as funny as you think. It will not be. Oh, shit. How the fuck am I going to make? Oh, aha. I have done it. I have cracked the code. I'm a hacker. I'm in. I'm fucking in. But first, I have to make myself we. So let's see if this works. Ooh. Do you see it? Do you see video game? Is video game there? Love. Is that better? Did I do it? Is that better with the sound? Let me turn down just a tad more. How's the sound, dear? I say dear, but I'm talking to all of you. How, how many of you are there? I must, oh shit. How, how many? How many? There are 12. I'm professional, welcome. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Wow, okay. Well, <clears throat> let, us, let us continue. Okay. We're gonna play some Phoenix Wright. Alright. Wait, how did I play last time? Oh, I played with a controller. Can I do this? Can I do this? I don't know. We'll find out. Are you gonna work? I'll just, I'll just use this. Who cares, right? I can do it. I'm a smart person. I've got things going on in here. Not much, but things. All right, let's do this. Load, selected, save data. Yes. Was it the wrong controller? Eh, who's counting? All right, let's see. <clears throat> yes, Eli. <laughs> Listen, the sun is down. You know how it is. We'll see what happens. Oh, I should use the cube, shouldn't I? Should I use the cube? I guess I don't need this, do I? The cube? Should I cube it up? This cube. This cube is so sad. Hold on. I will assume the cube. This is so silly. Hold on. Ugh. Eh. Every controller known to man on this fucking thing. Here we go. All right. I have become as cube. What do you think? Am I a real alpha gamer now? What do you think? <laughs> Behold my cube. Elmo will not appreciate this, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. Ahem. We're now going to play a video game. September 7th, 3.11 p.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Well, hello. All right. I'm going to be doing some cringy voice acting. Please excuse me. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out exactly how I did all these last time, but I don't remember. So we'll find out. <clears throat> That's right. Milkers. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Dank. It's really quite... Moving. Oh, Pee Pee, you want up? Are you displeased? Here. Would you like to be here? Is this where Pee Pee wants to be? What do you need? Come here. I know. They needed it. They asked for this. Come here. You can you can be here if you like. You can Would you prefer it's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yeah, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. He looks terrified. 
So, what is it that you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? All right, so I'm gonna examine. Oh, she disappears? Boo. Discard Mars vest, that's like he's moving into Okay. He doesn't see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Uh huh, I see. Let's mount the camera. No clues here, and it's nothing. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to this lady. See, yeah, I don't get to examine her heart. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Okay. Wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. Is it creepy? This woman is impossible to talk to. Hey, aren't we all? Huh. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. But bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Hmm. All right, let's present her with my badge. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost because well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Great. Um, what was the thing I needed her to? Yep, nope. Just God damn it. What was the thing? Hold on. About the man staying in your hotel room. Where is he? No way, Jose. If I had something to get her to talk about the man in the room. Show her my gun. All right, hold on. What do I have? Always badge. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Fine, I'll show it to her again. No, he doesn't care. So she's not gonna cooperate. Cell phone? Let's try that. Oh, he's not, she's not cooperating. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show the badge again. Fuck. Autopsy report. No. Ah, uh, she's not gonna help, is she? Do I need to seduce her? No, Eli, I cannot. Is there yeah, I think I might need to investigate more. Before she will. Floor plans? Yeah, no, I need to go somewhere else. Okay. I think I need to, I think I need to go to the hotel. And then, the, yeah, let's go here first. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Um, should I, how, should I save like a bunch during this uh, game? Is this the kind of game where I would need to save a lot? All right, then I will save. For me, yes, wow, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, so I will keep that. Yes. Ah, welcome, sir. Oh, that guy. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Mm. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not. I, I don't know what boys do with this guy. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. <laughs> huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Well, well, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Huh. All right, let's talk to this asshole. Let's talk about Miss May. 
about Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her, she'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... Danger. There we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gape Water. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gate Water Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. All right. So let's examine. Let's look at this thing here. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, uh, please leave that as is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. <laughs> it's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious, I don't believe it. Okay. A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. Nice weather again today. I can see the Faye and Cola offices, of course. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of... A view to kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh, 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 oh. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. All right. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. Shouldn't we take DNA off these things? Wouldn't that be a wise, tr ah, whatever. A simple bed, it's been recently made, nothing eye catching here. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. All right. Mm, nothing interesting, all right. See what has to say about that. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Oh, really? Badge? Why does he want to show me the badge so bad? Up. Oh. Okay, so he's not gonna be much help. Is he? No, not until I get a picture of the guy, huh? Oops. Um, let's go to the offices. September 7th. Looks like Forensics, forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really have this place a working over. I, oh, gave them. Uh, I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Yeah, let's just take a look around. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Sky's blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. His desk perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Yeah, that's... And then she re read all those. Are some of the files missing? Now I'm imagining things. I'm gonna look at that again. Couldn't cram more legal books in here if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Are some of the files missing? An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made me cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Alright, guess not much there. Um, guess let's try here. Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Aha! Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Shit. What was it a painting of? Was it Fisherman? I think it was Fisherman. Wasn't it? 
Wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Yeah, no shit, it sucked. Uh-huh. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. On the back, the words, DL6 Incident, da 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 Quietly added to the court record. And... Aha! Uh -huh. A photo lies on the desk! Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? I think I'll swap them. Aha! Uh -huh. Exhibit B. Thank you! So I can't... T I can't take both? I guess I'll leave that one alone. That's right, both with an L. Right, anything else of note? Salt mahogany desk, woods polished, do do do. Table for clients! Hmm, an L... Elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Aha. Okay, so I think I have everything I need. So what I will do, is I will go back, and we'll move to the Gatewater Hotel. And we will speak to this asshole. Hello, asshole. What do you think of this asshole? Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about it. I mean, I think it would be wise to have him write an affidavit, right? If I turned him down, Someone could bribe him, right? I mean, right? Can't possibly hurt. Yeah. And don't overthink it. If I don't overthink it, thoughts will not come out. I have to overthink. My overthink is regular people's think. <laughs> well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit describes the man who stayed at the thing. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Sick. Fabulous. Love it. All right. Is there anything else we can talk about? No. Okay. Man. Oh, you can only mess up in court? Okay. What possible value would there be in not having it? Tell me about it. Oh, excuse me. One moment. I'm gonna be rude. Excuse me. One tiny moment. Please forgive me. Alright. Ahem. Actually, I'll put, I'll put you back. Right. So I'm now gonna go to the detention center and show the bitch. You again! Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Alright, ba ba Ah, that man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Would a pen and pencil help this playthrough? Potentially. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm, would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk, which I do, I will now present this motherfucker right here. Present have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Haha, <laughs> a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Did, do you have proof that was him? Hmm? If, yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. <laughs> Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as, 
the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy? Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears. Why would I ease her fears? Push her, fuck her. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. Yes. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm, so this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Court is located? Hold on. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. Why would I discard that? Wouldn't I need that? Mm, I suppose. It was just for her. Eh, fine. Alright. Anything else? Da -da -da -da. Alright. Ah, oh, I guess we have. Right. Shall we go? What do you think? Right? Who needs legal evidence? That's crazy. Show her the wiretap? It's not for what? It's video game court. All right, let's go. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh, ha 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 ha. That was indeed the painting. Elmo, what are you lo He's looking at nothing. September 7th, Blue Court Inc., CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What, personage? What the? Oh, this guy. Ugh. I'm just gonna give him the bellboy's voice. I hate this guy already. Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it right? I see. Splendiferous. Mm. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corps. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the word elite challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with such a man as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. All right, so I'm gonna chat with him a little bit, Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corps, is she not? Correct, she was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. 
No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the police, the courts. <laughs> to me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Why would he say that? Why would he say that? Oh, so stupid. Blue Core. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Core was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Core, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? That painting. Uh, there's something up that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Uh, say, when did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Nice. Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. <laughs> Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Ugh. Uh oh. You getting hit? Uh, uh, he. He punched me. What? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? That's, yeah. For it is you who will be found guilty? What? What? <laughs> Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation, my comfort. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit? Go now. Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Wow, what a piece of shit. I'm gonna show him my badge. You wanna see this? Look at how big my dick is. Look! Look at it! Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in a language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Um. Blah, 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 blah. What if I showed him his own picture? No. Alright. All right, I have nothing for him, I assume. Women are always hungry. Hey, listen. It's because we're exhausted from talking to you. Hey, ha, huh, talking to the men folk. Ha ha, ho, 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 ho. That's why women are always hungry. Hungry for murder. All right. I'm hungry for justice, that's right. Okay, let us move on. Um, I will go to Grossberg Law Offices again and be like, hey, what's going on? Uh -huh, of course. Grossberg. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem. Jumpin' Jehoshaphats! Oh, you. What's wrong? You looked so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. Well. I mean. Okay, yeah, okay. Just making sure. Blah, 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 yes. Okay. Please try. So you came to see the trial. 
Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me as sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I paid Blue Core a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had, quote, no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Court. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Ooh, they're lovers. Hmm. Giving him information? Are they lovers? Oh, there's no penalty? Is there a penalty if I choose the wrong one? You're lovers! It's not something I can claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What? My boy. You sent that painting to him as a sign. A sign of undying love. That's right. My boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. My fanfics. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I... I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not. We're not... D don't be ridiculous. Well, all right. Okay. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. Yes. I knew it. They are lovers. See? No, we are not lovers. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corps is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Oh, 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Hmm. Let's look into this. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had, been, she had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what I was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using the medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. As I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Uh-huh. I see. I mean, it's just 
his position. Sorry, sir, I borrowed this. Ah, so it was you, my boy. Who is this man? Um, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. I don't want to talk about it. Better give him back this photograph. Nah, shit. Photograph returned. I guess I can just... I don't have much to... I will show him my badge. That's what I will do. I don't think I can help you with that. I need a lot of help. I guess... I will... I will go to her office. Sorry, I'm super hungry. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so... normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? This one for D. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A, B, F. Misty Faye. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Yes, of course. I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Sick. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Uh -huh. All the cases. What file? Let's see. J through S. Nothing much here. Skim. Ah, well, no harm in flipping through, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end in S. Suicide? Oh. She's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Uh-huh. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait. I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Article about a politician suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Hmm. Yeah, one more time. Let's see. Which file to check? Let's check the end. T U I know W White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Uh huh. I see. I see. Let's let's go to the detention center. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Okay. Um. Let's. Let's go back to Grossberg real quick. See if he'll talk to me. Um, I will present him with the newspaper clippings. I found this in Mia's files. Ah, so she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. All right, well, that was helpful. Great. I will go to Bookor. Talk to that asshole. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. 
You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Uh, yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Why would I say... Say that he's right? Yeah, the prompt is unclear. Uh, I know I can't fail, but uh, I'm nervous. You are right. You are absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. Ah. Tell him they are lovers. He's lovers. You are two lovers. <laughs> for this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. Oh, shit. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why not? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer m man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. Shit. I, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. <laughs> Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh, what a piece of shit. Gumshoe is so pure. What an angel. September 8th, 337. Guys, I have to pee and I'm hungry. Can I? Can I just put you on BRB for like two seconds? I'm sorry. I got I gotta make the pee. Please excuse me. I will return shortly. Hold on one second. There we go. I will be right back in like three minutes. Please excuse me.
turned. Oh, I should probably move the mic back, huh? There we go. Hello. Wah, wah, wah. Can you hear me? Here we go. Hi, bud. I know. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to try not to eat into the mic. I know that's annoying. But I'm so hungry. Please excuse me. Mmm. Yum. Yum. All right. Let us play a video game. Bam. <clears throat> One destination to go to page. Agonize for five minutes. Guys, but what if I do it wrong? Listen, I like to, I like to do things. I like to do a good job. I like to do a good job. I fail most of the time, but I like to try. What do you mean literally every stream you both do this? What am I doing? I'm just having my cereals. Right, Elmo? All right. Ahem. September 8th, 337, detention center. Visitors room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial, my trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Let's see if I can remember how I did it. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grow a few cup sizes, what the fuck? I like soggy cereal. Hold on. Do you ever want to dance when you eat? Because it's so good. No? You're unsubscribing because of my dance? Understandable. Cheer me on in court. Help me break out of here. Right. Okay. Listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. You mean a jailbreak? Yeah. Tonight's our only chance. All right. Huh? Oh, I, I better go get a hacksaw while the stores are still open. Oh, oh, and a rope ladder and a getaway car. Can you drive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way! Really? No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. This girl is me. That's... That's what I would be like. We gotta do it! just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Hmm. Oh, she's so cute. She's so goddamn cute. Plague, what is that? Ugh. Ow, I bit my lip. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. <laughs> it's, in fact, I'm just spitting cereal everywhere. Excuse me. It's gotten worse. There we go. Ow. Bleh. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
You know I can't stop eating. I hurt myself. I will set this here. There. That's probably a bad idea, but that's fine. <clears throat> Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culpit culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. I assume I should probably save. To be continued. Oh, it's saving it for me. Hell yes, I'm saving that bitch. All right, I will save down here for the sake of rotating. Fabulous. <clears throat> September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant, Lobby Number One. Well, I guess this is it. Yep, one way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, uh, Phoenix, look! Oh, I don't remember how we decided to do him. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try his... Oh, British? Oh, I suck at... Oh, hold on. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. How's that? I don't know. I don't know. Posh? Really? Was that good? Too British? Too much? It's fine. I'll, I'll pull it back. I'll pull it back a little. I'll dial it back a bit. What does White have the what does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm gonna be guilty? End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. I don't know. I... It's hard. I have to go all the way or know the way, you know? So, I make that my policy. Edgeworth, Murr. you've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. F Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? Wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. <laughs> what? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't ever defend yourself. Even if you are a lawyer. Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't believe I'm still being right. But court is now in session. For the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Your Honor. I don't know. Defense ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, I can't, I can't fucking, I can't do like regular British, you know? It's gotta be like goofy, embarrassing bullshit or nothing. <laughs> wow, the, does the law not work like this? And he's not British. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time playing this game. This guy could be an alien for all I know. That's true. The British are anything but normal. Just make him sound like an itch angry rich kid. I did that with the bellboy and also the other guy. Uh, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. 
I don't know. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Objection! Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Excuse me, I have a piece of... Hold on. Sorry, I needed some milk. <laughs> Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Mia... Ma Maya... God damn it. Maya Faye. Ma Mia Faye? Maya Faye? Huh. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Boo hoo. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Wow, he looks like he is being blackmailed. Look at him. He is sitting on a pile of dirty pictures. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White. Red, wait, Red White to the stand. They got that CBT's blackmail. Now oh, this asshole. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my pers personage? Pers uh, whatever. Shit's hard. Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Okay, this guy. Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? Miss Mia Fey, I don't know. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were... Ugh, you were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? This is hard. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I am done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Uh-huh. 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 Shiny. I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've made your peace with God. Ow. I keep biting my fucking lip. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Huh? Let him have it, Phoenix. Grr. Let's do it. Let's see, it was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once, and she too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and then it was all over. That is some horseshit. Wait, didn't didn't Miss May's testimony completely contradict it? Because if they're in the same room and they saw two completely different people, like that's some horseshit, huh? And things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, the defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. <coughs> Excuse me. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mm. <coughs> oh, God. Hold on. Cereal stuck in my throat. All right. It's about nine o'clock. Oh, nope, that's not how it goes. Okay. Who's fine reading? 
had a bedlam. Wait, how do I object objection without my... Oh, press, there it is. Hold it. Hold it! How do you know what time it was? Let me get hurt the clock. <coughs> oh. Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm. That's what Miss May said, too. True, but the bellboy who brought the copy saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem. This is your concern? S silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? I was quietly crucifying that's right in time. Wait, restart? Wait, what? Wait, I already saved though. It's not one guy, there's several guys. I don't know. Okay. By the window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Koala offices? Correct! That is the only window you see. And there you were reading. Papers? Correct! The gate water is a businessman's hotel and I am a busy man with business to do. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Oh, press. Hold it! A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Objection! <laughs> so you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of the windows at night. No snoop. Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. Just then I saw the spike-haired man attacking him with long hair. Spiky-haired? Oh, that's it. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Oh, Lawyer. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Money. Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? Called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Hold it. Hold it. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the the Faye office phone? Do you know that, asshole? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Uh, the victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Oh, shit. Well, that's fine. Let's go back. Hold it. Hold it. Can you be a little more detailed with that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sh- are you sh- I don't- I don't know what to do with Edgeworth yet. Edgeworth! Doing that voice make me cringe, I don't know. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Chase. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? Shiny, look how shiny I am. Abs are positively blah, the perfect end story, but how many times must I hear that? Psst, Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as a little odd? Finally, there was a terrible impaction. It was all over. Yeah, I'm thinking the floor plan too. You watch exclusively for cringe? Well, you're in the right place. Um, impaction? Don't you just mean impact? Ridiculosity! I think you need to brush up your on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I'd better leave the whole language thing alone. Did Edgeworth prep this guy 
too, I wonder? Anyway, I'd better find a weakness in there. Alright. I think it's the floor plan. Objection. Look at this shit. Your honor, that statement is horse shit. Huh? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make it. Oh, son of a whore. Fuck! Did I totally goof? Ball sacks. Shit. Has to be right sentence. Fuck my ass. Okay. Balls. Okay. Shit. Oh, look over. Okay. statement? Okay. Alright, let me make it to the second last statement. Objection! Objection! There we are. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? Man? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated the victim ran right. Oh, 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 it is simple. You've misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Wow, look at that face. Woo! Very strange. Wow, this looks like someone I know. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. She ran left. Wait. So he did witness the killing. Yeah, from the other side. From the other goddamn side, cause he killed her. Oof. 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 Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right. Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? I can. Cause Mr. White is correct. Right? He is. Well, both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth for one. Big brain, big brain. Ha, huh. I doubt it. That's right, both with an L. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their co conflicting accounts, but obviously the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh, my... Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. I can't believe the law of Fay and Co. But more specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. What? Well, here, where the killer was, right? I mean, right? I mean. He's the killer, so... Oh, okay. Excuse me, one second. Yeah, no shit, I know. Take that! Take that! This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, he, if he was watching from this point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. 
Hi, the killer, yeah. Do you remember the guy he murdered? The girl, the killer. That's what the killer does. Order! I will have order, bruh. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt, bruh. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R rep Scallion. Objection. Objection. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, your honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. What's going on, far-fetched? Ah, fuck. Got something in my eye. Ugh. Ho, 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 ho. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. Now he's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize, Mr. Your Honor. Mr. Your Honor. Might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Let's see what other horse shit comes out pouring out of your mouth. Can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Witness testimony... She ran to the left. Both reached for the gun. All right. <clears throat> Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she ran. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Oh, I can't. Oh. Fuck, excuse me. Oh. There's always like an Elmo hair. Hovering somewhere around my eye. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? When you assaulted the girl, she ran, first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lloyd? Why would you say? All we have to do is examine the autopsy, and that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examined? Yes, I absolutely will. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine this motherfucker, piece of shit. This judge is an idiot. Hold it. Hold it. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You Americans, always so impatient, it does not become- Oh. Should I have used, like, a French thing for him or something? Oh, well, whatever. What did he mean by this? Hey, buddy, you're an American, too. Oh! Assaulted the girl, you first ran to the left. What do you mean first? First, that is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, you ran to the left, and then. Then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Excuse me, asshole. I didn't hit anyone. Now, now, Mr. Wright, there's no point hiding things from this coin. I'm not hiding anything. Objection! The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have the point. Why is he mad at me? Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. What do you mean, next? Next is what comes after first. I know that. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Boy. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Hold it! Hold it! I will never calm down. Stop saying it was me. Is she going to do it every time? Yes, I want to know. This is my first time playing this, dude. But it was you! Objection! Objection. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. Can I do nothing right? Nothing? May I continue? That is what Miss May said. Hold it! Hold it! So each of you saw a different part. Absolutely, that's right, of course. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? Anyway, moving along. You see, you hit her twice. Hold it! So were you watching him both times? 
I suppose I was, and please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think it's horseshit. I think we got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Miss May's testimony was correct as was mine. Uh-huh. Hold it. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You America. Oh, wait. Yep, alright, okay. Alright. Um. Autopsy report prove that she was not hit twice. What do you need to read this? I can't read the evidence. Can I? Like I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I see that. But do you mean? All right, yeah. Objection! Objection! Yes, this music. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What? Oh my God! Like, look, if you're this guy's an idiot. Like, it's... What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were abso positively perfect? Ugh. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony... Objection! The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten-minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Objection! Objection! The witness is confused because he is lying! I emphatically request that there be no goddamn break, Your Honor! Yeah, we want just us, bro. We don't let him get away, bruh! Very well. No PP time. No PP. If the witness would care to revise his testimony, crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one. Out of this now, White. Mr. White. Oh, okay. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. And then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap. Hmm, thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see... It is hurting. I have to take a big doo-doo. Deal with it. Shit in your pants. This is almost over. <sighs> There's doo-doo. There's doo-doo in the pants. <laughs> you gonna cry when you shit your pants? I looked at the other window. He said there was only one window. Hold it! Didn't he? Didn't he? The cereal bowl is bottomless. Maybe piss and come shit and come. <laughs> you heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that, um, the glass line stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. You can't see that through the window, can you? Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh, what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked? Hold it! The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? W why Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait, one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so, so confused. Why it's falling apart. Objection. Your honor, please. I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, your honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Very well. The, the witness may continue his account. 
the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Should I show the glass from the... She jogged, she turned, ran to the door, and you did her in. The glass, right? Broken beyond recognition. Objection! Objection. Mr. White, you stupid fuck. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea that it was a light stand. So tell me exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. Uh, I, it, it isn't obvious. I saw the stand before it fell over. So you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? C correct. That would be no problemo, right? Hmm. There's a big problemo, or I mean problem. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Incorrect, that is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. Oh, you couldn't have seen the stand. How is it possible? What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Oop, oop, didn't even do that. Take that! Take that. Look at this! These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. There. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, ri ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is from inside the Fay Law Offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Ah! I just totally got him. He screamed. <laughs> Boo -hoo. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I... Miss Mia. Ha, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! Objection. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? What? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He had he ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Ms. Faye. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by whom? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Yeah. C correct! You are most correct, mine. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the offices. That is when I saw that accursed line. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Well, I'm stupid. Right. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. 
She has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place, when he went to place the wire tap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix, Phoenix Wright's theory is, reve is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Arise, get baseless conjecture back. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Shiny. Ahem. Leave it to me. Mm. I wish I could be like that. Just do this. And shiny things happen around me. I should wear more glass rings. Hold on. I shouldn't wear more rings. I'm a shiny man. Mm. Me. Excuse me. Oh, there's just a little bit of milk left. That was a lot of cereal. I, I feel faint. All right, God, this is a long episode. It's awesome. I was expecting it to be over by now. Hold on. I'm pleasantly surprised. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. <laughs> That is when I saw this glass light stand. Excuse me. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Shiny. Correct! That is right! Huh? I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Oh, good point. I should save, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. September, the week before Hold it! Hold it! D do you have proof? Objection. Objection! Miss April May knew the detail of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. It's true. I had entered the Faye and Co. law offices. Hold it! How did he get in? Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Objection. Objection! Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's, but but are they though? And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Oh well, alright. <laughs> now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wire oh. tag. Why did you tap me as phone? Objection. Objection! This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corps is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass light stand. And what did it look like? Do you have a picture of it? Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I made it. So I guess it made a lasting impression on it. Such a mutatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. It was the beginning of September, the week of the murder. Entered the offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Oh shit! Oh shit, I kept going. <laughs> I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Did I fuck up? No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Is it Mia? What? She's she's dead. All right. Okay, this is going a lot differently than I 
expected. All right. Okay. Okay. Never give up, Phoenix. Huh? That's fucking what? Who? M M Mia? Mama Mia. Here I go again, Mama. Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Ugh. Ugh. Elmo. Elmo hair no. Ah. Oh right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. <laughs> wow, Phoenix faints a lot, huh? Hey, Phoenix! Gak? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Do you see these honkers? Oh. The... I don't remember those. I don't remember those. Your Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Woo! 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 I mean, that that was fast. That was fast. Though That would be just stretch marked to hell. But God bless her. That's crazy. Whew. All right. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up, and you can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. Bazongas. But we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. But you lost. You have that receipt in the court record, right? Yeah, why didn't he look at the department store thing? Oh, uh, yeah, that, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, Wright wrote that, not me. Because she has perfect handwriting. So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's just a regular receipt, my god. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars, wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Oops, he, he said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Receipt updated in the court record. Oh, whew, that voice is hard. 1.16 p.m. Wow, the boobies are there now. Court will now reconvene for the trial. Mr. Phoenix, right. Is the defendant rather, are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, ooh, excuse me. Please give me one more chance. The pro I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Wow. Very well. Very generous of you, Edgeworth. You may begin your cross-examination. Haha, <laughs> justice. <laughs> Was it now? Are you certain? Objection! Objection. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Mwaha, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt, motherfucker! Ow! The other side, your honor. Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, 
a glass light stand, and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. <gasps> you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Faye and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Wow. All right. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Huh? Very well. Then I guess you're magically innocent. All right. That is all for the trial of... Objection. Objection. He already put the on the gavel, though. Phoenix should just grab Edgeworth's face and rip a long, loud, wet fart right in his eyes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Eli, why? Not so fast, Phoenix, right? My god. Eh? What? No way can he worm his way out of this one. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. It's me. There's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However... There is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there it is. Before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. What the fuck? I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I could object, but I don't think I can. Can I? I mean, like, I can, but will I have... Grounds? Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? Say what? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, oh, there's no telling what'll happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up some shit. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Shiny. Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? Of co- Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. At least have him forfeit his, like, passport and shit. Like, that's ridiculous. That is, the, he's the most massive flight risk I've ever seen. Ah. The witness will stay. M Mia? Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? You have giant, you have a giant massive rack now. It's crazy. Memo received. Did she hit puberty? This is so crazy. I'm, a list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. You are quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet your fucking ass I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Take that. Take that. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! P please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Ah. I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Good night, <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. 
guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Ha ha ha. Good night, everybody. Hmm. Well, this court defines finds the defense. Ahem. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. <laughs> That is all. This court is adjourned. Bye. <laughs> Bye! Uh, September 9th, 2-24. What do you mean, Paige, why? I won. That's right. Well, I wish I'd never... Uh, bleh. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations! You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya. And... Your two Mayas on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? What? You want to see my badge? It's really big. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Right? Oh, nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. What's wrong with me? Why am I... Hold on. Just look at this. I don't... Look at it. Have... Make her look at it. How do I make her look at it? <laughs> what? I was... Wasn't I supposed to make her look at it? Am I too early? <laughs> what did I do? Did I do something wrong? I'm scared. Oh no. The day. Wait, the game didn't give me the option? Then why did that happen? Did I click that? Oh no. I fucked up. My time here is running out. What the hell? Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. Oh, she's still not. What the fuck? I, I don't know. What? No, there's still so much to say. I want a motorboat with your boobs. Hold on. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief! Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say nine? The office? I'll see you later. What the fuck? Are they gonna... What is happening? Who am I... Who am I talking to? <laughs> Bring condoms. <laughs> We're gonna have some ghost sex. You're two minutes late! What a piece of shit. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? Wahaha, you should see your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? She means the office, this office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Aw. Aww. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching with my eyes and breasts. Beautiful story. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? <laughs> burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a-wasting! 
Okay, wait up. The end. Yay! Whoa, a brand new episode has been added. Wow. Oh. Oops, I will save. I've done it! Wait, no, I don't want to go to the... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if I want to go there yet! Hold on! Oh no! What? The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. I'm trapped now. Four will be the last moon you ever see, haha! -ha. Oh. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Hiya! Ooh. Whoa! Gra! Huh! Hiya! Huh! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns! October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right and Co. Law Offices. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of, of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you're watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids, oh, I really worry about kids these days. Cramps. Well, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the right and co law offices. How am I gonna pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix writes, bedroom. <laughs> Hello, this is Phoenix. N nick Maya, what? It's still early. I it's the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai got arrested. Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain. Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it. In real life, he skewered a villain with his samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Beep. October 16th, 9.22 AM. You are a smelly boy. Are you a smelly boy? Yeah, oh, he is good. Oh, he's a fat boy. How'd you get so round? How'd you get so round? Maya is here watching television. And now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Yes, right and co law offices. What? Nick! I, I, it's the Steel Samurai. What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention! 
So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. All right. One second, please excuse me. I, I beg, I beg your pardon. Well, what do you think? Should we go for a little more time? Oh, wait. I see. Uh, I'll save here. What do you think? A little more time? Press 1 for continue, 2 for... If I should maybe leave this one for next time. I will not be offended. It's a long one. Hmm. The case is like four hours long. Okay, how about this? I know it, this, this has been really short, but this one's like four hours long. I won't finish it. Hmm, it'll take two streams minimum, huh? Hmm. Do one segment. How, how much longer would one uh, segment of this be, do you think? About like 30, 40 minutes? Because I am starting to get sweaty and my voice is a little shot. But I am having fun. About an hour. Uh, oops. There we go. At least meet the client. All right. I'm going to meet the client. Well, let's meet the client. And then we'll call it a night. How's that? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lanta. All right. All right. So I saved, right? I'll do it again, just for the hell of it. Wait. Why am I suddenly... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go down here. Yeah, there. Okay, that made me nervous. All right. Ahem. Hey, bud. Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate the case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. We don't have enough information to take make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. All right, um... Mia's favorite pot of plant. Oh, she's been watering it so much it looks swollen. She's either trying to make it grow or she's perfecting her water torture technique. Ugh. A poster of an old movie Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Horrendous amount of legal books there. Scary still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. It's a nice day outside. It's a beautiful day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy happily cleaning the room. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. All right. So, look at my badge. Look at it. What about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. Is that, a, is that his PP? Pee -pee? I do not appreciate that. October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. All right, Elmo, don't worry. Wow. <gasps> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder at least once, maybe twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Um, yes? Something wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh, no, no. Me, no, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. Aw. 
Whoa. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah? He didn't do it. Huh. Wait, so he did do it? He's killed multiple people? Just kidding. Yeah, he's hot. Like, look at that. Look at that. He's hiding a small animal in his shirt. I mean... Rare, I know. Do you, are you that small animal, Elmo? You want me to hide you in my shirt? <laughs> All right. He's morally gray, that's right. Maya's an idiot, I see. Oh, that's all right. Okay. So I'm going to save here quickly. Go. All right. Why can't I do this? There we go. Close. There we are. And now big, big camera, big camera, back to me. Hello. Oh, sorry, this was a shorter stream. Uh, than I expected, but I shall return uh, shortly. This is Big Page. You have pleased me, so I have become the Big Page. Um, eh. Eh. There we go. Uh, I'm tired, and my voice is shot, but that was fun. I had a really good time. I love this game. Uh, I'm going to try to see if Pat will... Hi, son. I'm gonna see if Pat will um, do this with me again sometime soon because it's it's a lot easier when I have another um, another voice with me. Um, so, oh my God, just this ma you can't see it on camera. Do you see this on camera? This massive Elmo floof just started floating towards me. Jesus, Elmo, how do you do that? Don't wink at me. How do you do this? <laughs> oh my God. Um. So let us give a brief thank, pee pee. Let us give a brief thanks, and uh, stop, buddy. Let's give a brief thanks, and then we will say good night. Hold on, there we are. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Bark on three four five resubbed for eight months and said seven month hype. Looking forward to see how a solo page stream goes. Thank you. Sorry if this is too personal, but I always wondered how long have you lived in Canada and what made you want to move there. I don't live in Canada. I simply, I simply, I simply exist. I simply, I stimp. Is that like the new simp? I simply. No, I'm not illegal. No. All right. Uh, what made me want to move here? Uh, Pat. You know, whatever. The only thing illegal is this ass, because I don't have a license for it. Think about that. I don't, I don't know. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, so you had a 10, gifted 10 subs. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy, everyone. Enjoy. Come here, bud. JJ Cheekery subbed for 41 months in a row and said, hello tonight, Paige. Hello. Cheers to 41. You're swell and so is Elmo. I wish I could give his pea-covered body a hug, but I live in the States. Please, gi please give him one for me. I will. Hi, PP. He is not covered in pee at the moment. No. He saw a little bit of his hair and he wanted to eat it. No, you don't get any. No, no, none for you. Even though you are a good boy. I need a license for that dump truck. Uh, spooks and sweets subscribed. Thank you kindly. Skittle Soul used 500 bits and said, Hey, Paige, thanks for stalling until I was able to walk home. See, I did it for you. I was off work at 8 and waited an hour for a lift, only for it to cancel on me. Oh, that's the worst. I'm sorry. Uh, Jobbed Bone used 500 bits and said, Japan has a conviction rate of 99%. So Phoenix is amazing. That's true. The fact that he was able to do that. He is a genius, isn't he, Poops? Isn't he, Poopsie? Yes, baby. Uh, Seraphesis subscribed. Thank you. Hey, it's Kevin. Used 200 bits and said, subpoena this man. Subpoena this man to death. Right up in his subpoena. Silish resubbed for three months and said, you do it. And now I have done it. Thomas Solario used 200 bits and said, Mr. Your Honor, lol. Objection. I know. 
Will you get insurance on your ass like Jennifer Lopez? No, but that is pretty cool. Uh, Super Mona Man used Turner Bits and said, the music in the series fucking slaps, my dude. I'm glad you're loving the game so far. Dude, it's great. The music is great. Cornered is beautiful and perfect. Uh, Zorak100229 used 500 bits and said, hey, hey, Paige, just want to say your streams have really been cheering me up. A friend of mine recently did some fucked up stuff, so this is a great distraction. I'm sorry. Also, an update on Boomer Souls. My mom beat the Capra Demon on her fourth try. I can't believe how fast she's learning. You must be a very good teacher. So good for you. Uh, and I'm sorry about your friend. Um, Garan donated $5 and said, name a better duo than Nick and Maya. Pro tip, you can't. I am excited to see what they do together. Um, it's really weird that Maya kind of just transforms into Mia out of nowhere. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Hi, bud. Uh, Jen Ralph donated $2 and said, I recommend just doing Nick, Maya, and Judge's voice since Witnesses and Edgeworth have so much text, text and not to overwork yourself. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring that out. I kind of want to give Edgeworth something just to delineate who's talking for people who can't, um, who aren't able to watch if they're drawing or doing something else. Um, but we'll see. But I appreciate that. I think that's, I think that's a, that's a good choice. Uh, Tiger Cat Go used 300 bits and said, first time subscriber, but long ago, oh, but long time fan of you, Elmo and the Orb. Oh, thank you. I drew you a fun Dark Souls drawing on Twitter while watching. Oh, I'm excited to go look. Hi, peep. You want to say Hi. Oh, he has it. Is that where you're going to go now? He's huge. Look at him. There you go, buddy. Oh, and he goes. There he goes. Mm. He, his ass is so big, he looks like he got pants on. Uh, and Mishy donated $5 and said, check your Twitter to get flustered on stream. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. Hold on. What have you done? Oh my god. Thank you. That's pretty cool. I'm trying not to cry. Thank you. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, well. <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming out. Um I'm going to be doing this again. Right now, Pat and I have like a sort of schedule, sort of. Uh, this Friday, I think, I can't remember if we're doing RE, if we're doing Resident Evil Revelations 2 again, or if we're doing Dark Souls 2. I think, yeah, I think it'll be Dark Souls 2. Um, so, yeah. I'm not, uh, definitely this again, at least on Monday. But hopefully sooner. I don't know. We'll see. If Pat gets tired or something, I'll take over for him or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, what happens. But we are we are definitely going back to Dark Souls too. We, I have not given up on that. Um and yeah, and you can check out the Resident Evil two stream on Pat's channel, which is of course Pat stares at, of course. Um and yeah, um Elmo. Oh, he's busy. Okay. I feel like there's something else. Oh well. Um, oh, uh, this will be up in uh, about 48 hours on my YouTube archive channel, which is Peach Saliva. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter. I also, you know, say stupid shit there um, and retweet skeletons. So if you want to see some weird porn on your timeline, check that out. Um, yeah. Have a good night. And uh, what are you looking at me for? What are you looking at me for? Well, all right then. Uh, Papyrus, do you want anything? He is good, and he is sweet, and he has nice feet. Beep, beep. Wait a minute. I didn't say I love you and I'm proud of you. That's some bullshit, and I apologize. Hey, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for doing the things that you need to do to go about your day. There. God damn. I can't believe I did that. I don't do that. All right. Have a great night. And Papyrus, would you like something? He is good, and he is sweet, and he has nice feet. Beep, beep.
Let's do it.